two experiments last year on the best way to take very clay-based sod that I took out of the yard and see if I could make it into something useful as far as soil. So this is the first experiment, which was layering it in a trash can with a bunch of shredded paper. And as I went, I just threw worms in as well into each layer. Drilled some hole, holes in the bottom and added water to keep it all moist. Um, left the lid propped open a little bit and just threw it in the garage. So this is the results of that experiment. Here is what we have one year later inside the bin. Moving it around, you can see the sod is pretty much broken up and the papers all disappeared. There are worms in here and we're happy to see that. It means that the habitat was reasonably suitable for the worms and they did their job. Texture's not perfect, still some clumps in here, but all in all, this is phenomenally better than what we started with. Second bin, um, we've got some worms in here as well, another good sign. And I'd say these get super heavy. Uh, I would not recommend trying to do more than a half full trash can, which is how we ended up with two. It's just really, really heavy stuff. Uh, again, some debris, some clumps. Uh, this isn't perfect, but it's way, way, way better than the stuff that we started with. Um, perfectly decent soil. Definitely not what I'd call good compost. Still some clumps. There's an example of a little bit of clay here. Um, again, it doesn't work on every little bit of it, but it's a lot better. And then just putting some compost in here, for contrast. You can see that it's black and awesome and crumbles nicely. Uh, it's definitely better than everything else in here, but compared to the starting point, I would call this one a success. Um, this is soil that could definitely be used in the garden um, as the kind of the basis for, for plant growing. It's perfectly acceptable. So this was the other sod experiment. In this case, I just laid the sod down and I put moving paper because at the time I had just moved. So if you think about that packing paper, just layered that in between the sod and the dirt. And then we didn't put worms in here. I just left it um, and it got naturally populated by earthworms. So this is about a year later. And as you can see, it's not like super awesome compost, but it's perfectly acceptable garden soil um, and all of the paper that was in here that I put in is just gone so the earthworms and microbes have done their job and we're left with like yeah, pretty decent garden soil so I'd say I'm pretty happy with with that experiment um, given that it didn't take a whole lot of effort it was literally just stacking the sod in here and laying in some paper so I'll probably I would recommend this if anybody's taking sod out of their yard